Hi guys, we've just built an Arcalyx B hyperland ourselves. So you can download stuff, put it on a USB and boot from it, but you can also build it yourself and then you decide what goes on the ISO. So that's what we're going to test. We're going to try again, which is not recommended, right? That is to install a Wayland desktop inside the virtual machine. We do not recommend it. Real metal without NVIDIA drivers present. So Hyperland, let's see if it lets us finish the video so you know how to install it. So we're going to choose the Hyperland ISO. Maximize this as usual, right? It's open source on NVIDIA. So like I said, if you choose NVIDIA, you can't have Hyperland. Simple. If you choose open source, you can have it. So the difference between the, both those of them and the top is Intel, AMD, AMD, all good, right? NVIDIA is the NVIDIA driver, the proprietary driver. So if you choose line one or two, you'll see that Calamars provides you something more. Now, not that we need it, but it's interesting for the other ISOs. So it will be present there as well. What you see is what you get. Let's see if we freeze up on this machine. We were in lock and luck on sway. Uh, yeah, right. I did not change the settings on the virtual machine, which makes it a good test. So it might be that in future kernels and uh, virtual boxes and Wayland, of course, uh, we actually can do something in here. We can actually log into this thing. But as you see, with these settings, it's not going to work. So that's a good test. What I did differently in Sway was go inside settings, go to display and tell them to use VMS VGA. So this will never work for all the others. But for Wayland, Wayland, this seems better. VMS VGA, enable 3D. Okay, let's try this again. And hopefully we just can do the installation. That's already enough for me. Messages as always, on real metal, not in VirtualBox. We just saw a freezing up of sway inside VirtualBox on previous video. All I need to do is explain the workflow, and that's good. So, with these settings, I actually pass SDM and I'm logged in. The auto login is working, and we have to wait for the menu to show up at the bottom, and now we get this pop up. And we can do the simple one, easy installation offline, or with a lot of choices, the advanced installation. I don't think this will work. He's taking quite some time over it. Let's try an easy installation. So like I said, yeah, it is, it is, we'll, we'll see, right, how things evolve and if things get better on VirtualBox or on QMU or on Boxes, you will see if Wayland gets better and, and if we know how, what variables, variables to set, we can try to make this work. But at this point in time, I can't give you a video of Hyperland, but basically take a look at the Sway setup. It's the same approach the same uh, choices and sorry guys but uh, until i can record it this is the video